Hi, I'm Keely Shinners, and I'm going to read a short passage from my favorite art book, which is called I Send You This Cadmium Red. And it's a book that documents a year's correspondence between John Berger and John Christie, in which they send each other colors back and forth through the mail and try to theorize about them. So this one is from John Berger, and it's on the color green. The thing about green, and maybe this is why it is notoriously difficult to use a lot of in painting, is that it's a temporary color. Not in the technical sense that it is fugitive, but in the metaphysical sense that it's a visitor. It's liquid, undulating, mobile, pushy. There is evergreen which suggests the opposite, but evergreen is mixed with black so that it becomes almost a mineral color, like diatase. The three primary colors are permanent. They are naturally ever yellow, ever red, ever blue, but not green. Maybe the only other color which appears and disappears in a comparable way is a certain kind of pink. The pink you get with cadmium and white, the pink of the sole of a baby's foot without sunlight. Look at Alice's and kiss it.